Welcome to Blase Network. I'm about to take the level down. That shit's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. The take levels the are down. The, the levels. levels. We can, uh, even the mic I'm level is kind of yeah, crazy. Yeah, Could hot. you turn? I got your headphones turned off. Yeah, that motherfucker yeah. is hot. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> but you can tell the audio right here. Like, oh, okay. Oh, nice. Okay, so you can see that. That's way better. But then it's like a, it's like, it's like a, it's like a the volume type thing in the video, and then it's like y'all have a volume in y'all headphones. All right. But it's like it's 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 kind of popular. Yeah. <laughs> she said that bitch hot. <laughs> that hot. hot mic. If you could talk into your mic, it's right here. Like that's yeah. hot stuff. That motherfucker hot. That bitch uh-huh. picking it up. These the WJZ this mics. He's laughing. He gonna that shit gonna be real crunchy. <laughs> chill, <laughs> real yeah. crunchy. Real crunchy. Real chill. <laughs> 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 you know how that nigga laugh. I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah. When you laugh, you put the mic out here. <laughs> bro, so <laughs> it, bro, so bad. I work. I work in a restaurant now, bro. And, yeah, and niggas be doing right. funny shit, bro. I be, be like, telling them like, please don't laugh. make me. No, I tell them myself, don't make me laugh. I said, this bitch gonna light up. You know, I can't control I my laughter, one. bro. I ain't the one. Don't so tell me no jokes. Sit? That's where you gonna sit. That's where you gonna sit. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's cool. For sure. I kind of want to do something different in my hat, though. Hold on. Man, wait, Maybe wait, like, wait, like, like DJ Jackson, see your face. Yeah. You know how DJ Jackson was wearing that bitch? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> well, you gotta wear it to the side with the T.I. lean. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Okay, Amazing. Oh, maybe I should roll my blunt before I. It don't I matter. We, we got a lot of time. I'm not sure yeah. <laughs> Me even. Yeah. This is my I off had day. a showing and then we canceled that shit. I said, nigga, you said you want your mortgage to be two thousand. Oh my god. That shit is two hundred twenty-two. <laughs> they got five off. You want to you want to be paying down for a hundred years? Try and get up to twenty-four. <laughs> oh my god. He like nah nah we cool we can we can keep looking. I'm like I right, bet I ain't want to go to Glen Burnie anyway. Yeah, so, fuck <laughs> that. Who, who, who wants who who's drinking here? Uh, you can put me a shot, bro. Put me a real shot, please. A real one? What you mean, like? Not Cause niggas just be like, yo, pour, pour me a shot, and, and then you get cup. it, and it's eight ounces of alcohol in the I cup. I don't know what a shot is. I, I, that's <laughs> the, a shot is literally the bottom rim, like the bottom rim. Get cute. Yo, even people at my job be doing that. Yeah. You get off. You wanna have a shift drink? You know you had. Yeah, you yeah. Know? I tell the girl. They be wildin'. Yeah, I say make me some uh, deep eddy lemon, please. I don't. Is that enough? He said yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, really? That that is. That'll do. That's fine. I just get it. I just drink. I just sip that bitch throughout the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't really. I'm just, I'm just wasting. It's. I might not even drink like all of something that I get, bro. Because it's like what yeah, alcohol is crazy. Same time. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, mom, did you see mom comment on the Instagram? I ain't well, she, said, she, she said, Instagram. "This is it." I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's I that's even know she had an Instagram. Hey, yeah. I, I told you we can't pay attention to the numbers because the <laughs> impact is so, bro. You you're not knowing who this is impacting. Like we don't know who is reaching, and then especially because of the message that it is. Yeah. Um, I've had two people mm-hmm. reach out to me privately, like, "Yo, the the positivity in your music." That's yeah. like. You can hear it breaking through for real. You yeah. can hear what you're trying to spread off now. And it's like, I'm like, wow. That shit almost made me cry because yeah. it's really potent. Yeah. They feel it. Absolutely. That shit, they feel it. Yeah, I've been hearing that from a lot of people too. Mm-hmm. Like this uh, agent at my office. We we talked because we just be in the office together. And I called her because she told me about some beats. And I was like, yeah, I got a track that dropped. You know, if you check mm-hmm. it out. She didn't know I'm an artist. I don't. Okay. You don't I'm in a totally. different hat. When yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I talked to some of them. And she's like, yeah, I check. You know how people, you you will never know what you're gonna get mm-hmm. when somebody said he dropped the song. Mm-hmm. She's like, I check it out. I'm like, all right, bet. I ain't even think about it. She came, knocked on the office door. She like, yo, that's my type of music. Yeah. She said, I'm gonna be there Tuesday. I was like, all right. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'll be there Tuesday. Like, at first, she didn't know if you was gonna show up. Yeah. You don't know. If it ain't your vibe, it's not your vibe. And yeah. I respect that. But um yeah, I got a couple of agents from my office coming out showing some love. So mm. yeah, it's gonna be lit. That shit is it's just a really good like. I hope that wasn't my cup. No, no that wasn't anything. It was, it was an empty cup. <laughs> that, was, that was a test. Uh, that, was, like, that. Like that. <laughs> that was a test to see if I was gonna spill some and I failed. Yes, yeah, sir. No, and it was in the worst spot too, like right next By to the, the stream the deck. Le- yeah. Laptop. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna use that other extension cord for me. Yeah, it was But yeah, um, I got a couple people coming out Tuesday. There's a, a DJ. He does the live DJing mm-hmm. at um at Prima Dopo, and 
he heard Blue It V2 and was like, yo, that was like, it was, it was good, yo, you and Shorty dope. I'm like, I just dropped another uh, song. He's like, yeah, I've been seeing the pictures and stuff like that you've been dropping, like the, the photo shoot. Is that the artist that's on Blue It? I'm like, no, that's that's my uh, friend CJ. Yeah. And uh, we performing live at Motorhouse. He's like, oh, shit, Motorhouse? He said, oh, come on, bro. That's what's up. I'm like, wow, okay. It's it, a lot of love. It's a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of love. But, you know, it, that's just like because of what it is what we pushing yeah. off with this song you know? I, I agree I think it's also like our personality like you know so everybody ain't got that type of you gotta be like a businessman and businesswoman when it comes to your mm-hmm. music and I ain't got no problem going up to people like yo pull your phone out yeah <laughs> I do the same exact thing like you or really what I've been doing that I feel like gets the most results is you ask people for their feedback cause when you ask somebody for their opinion they mm-hmm. feel like Oh damn, yeah, mm. like they want to know what I think. Yeah, like they're so, obligated. Yeah, they obligated. Like I really want, I want to give them my opinion. Let yeah. me listen to this shit. We finally made it. Yes, sir. <laughs> we made it, Mama. We made it, Mama. We made it. It yes, takes some time, sir. but we got it together, baby. Yes, we are in here. <laughs> yes, God. I'm just gonna. Let's, all right, I'm, I'm gonna do another one later. But For sure. I, I just want because I have to document it, so I know I'd be like, what time did I have this ready? Mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. She was right. <laughs> she was definitely DJ right. DJ Khaled yeah. was whispering in my ear when he pressed that in. But. Yeah, when the damn. <laughs> when the uh, levels is crazy, this shit get wild. <laughs> welcome, welcome back. Welcome back to the show. We are here for. You hear a little feedback? You hear that static? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear that static. Come I'm on. not sure where it's coming from. Yo, 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 nigga, yo, nigga, yo, nigga, yo. <laughs> Mike, check one, two, one, two, <laughs> bitch. Yo, nigga. Yo, <laughs> yo nigga. He's wilding. Um, He's wilding. I'm trying to see if there's any it's other It's yours, because that, that ain't happening until you started talking and moving around. It might be mine. Nah, it's his. It's mine. Oh know. yeah, we didn't hear no feedback. Yeah, definitely to you. It oh, wasn't right. feedback. It was oh, like, right. like it was crunchy. Like no, it. Sh- I'm thinking that's my mic tripping up. No, 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 yeah. We I think we all just figured out at the same time. But that static that static is definitely was definitely you think it's gonna come back or you think it's done now? Nah, that should be fine. I hope it don't There was back. some wire that was crossing maybe and this shit was making it static. <laughs> <laughs> See this is what I'm talking about. Turn this nigga's mic down. Turn this nigga's mic down. He took a cock. I'm trying yeah, to yeah, tell you. Yeah, yeah, my mic definitely gotta go yeah, down. Can you take it down some more? Your mic is right here. Uh, no, his game. Yeah, yeah, no, my, my not game. his volume. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, game yeah. Right here. Where is it? Right the here. The second one. You are the second one, yeah, and yeah, she's yeah, the one yeah, next yeah, to yeah. you. The you first could, one. could you yo, turn yo. my volume down on my channel? Your volume on your channel? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. How does yeah. that sound? That's cool. Good? That sound yeah. better? Yeah, because my laugh is, my voice carries by itself. Uh-huh. So I really be trying to be like reserved with it, bro. Yeah, I'm loud with shit too. It's all good. Yeah. Some of us a lot. Reno let me know that. He's like, yo, like, <coughs> when I record, I don't hear my voice bouncing off the walls. Like, yeah. I'm I'm right here with it. He like, you loud as shit when you record. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's two different types of people. I'm talking like, you're about. right. You're right. I didn't notice that. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely happy. I'm definitely happy to finally be shooting with somebody that actually knows what this is. Cause niggas yeah. be like, niggas do not know volume from game. From <laughs> niggas, now they just be like, yeah, yo, just make that, just make, make that shit. Is it gonna be in 4K? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, nigga, what you just say to me? Yeah. <laughs> not educated, man. Mixing the visuals and audio. Yeah, the, and the, the sound yeah. is the sound gonna be in 4K. What you talking about? Yeah, but that's how they be, bro. Yeah, but you know, it's a lot of. I think a lot of people. It's grandiose when you do stuff, when you create anything. Mm-hmm. So everybody wants to kind of have a part in doing that shit, but it just takes a lot to know about. Like, it took us a while to learn how to record. Hell we yeah. Used, we used to be like, damn, yo, why the fuck do we hear the headphones? <laughs> like, damn, yo, we can hear the headphones when we record and shit. Niggas remember that? We used to be in the third floor. Yeah. Like, oh, duh, of course, nigga, turn the headphones down. <laughs> just like troubleshooting, trial and error. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That I shit think takes a lot. one thing I learned, like, from actually taking courses in audio mm. is like what makes a good engineer and you know this is like being able to troubleshoot and find a solution because mm-hmm. it's like it's once you understand a daisy chain you could put it together it's not 
really hard, but yeah. when you have a problem, that's the hard part of being oh, yeah. able to find a solution oh, to yeah. the problem. Yeah, it's been it's been plenty of times where like I I felt like I I, I brought like a whole new piece of equipment thinking it was something to short mm-hmm. in it. Mm-hmm. Whole time I just had like a bad cord. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. It's just like it's a lot of or things. Or you just ain't turn it on. It, it could be the power button. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> like, I think about that. Sometimes it's worse. just the power button. It's not plugged in. It could be the simplest of things. Yes, it was real simple. Just turn me down, please. That's the troubleshoot we had. <laughs> this nigga is too loud. Yeah, not the volume, nigga. Turn the game down. Turn that nigga's uh, game nah, down. A couple he needs a like, ceiling yeah. that's a little God, bit lower. Like <laughs> lower <laughs> his ceiling. Some, somebody got the fire. You got the fire. The fire. Lighter. The fire. As some would say. Bro said lighter. The fire. As some would say. Because it's He's... white people that watch this shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Game. Um, like, we going to have a little dictionary at the end. Listen. Okay. For terms of, the, you know. The fire is what you need to fire. fire up. <laughs> fire. The, the blood up. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, we are here. Well, who I'm with needs no introduction. But I'm, I'm going to let them introduce themselves. We are. Um, this is the twenty million dollar podcast, but it's now is it's forty because now the place that we're in. Yeah. Wow. Where, what is the HQ? I want you. What, what I want you to describe so, the HQ. So right now we at Base Operations Ground Through Media, uh, two four one West Reed Street. You know we offer like studio uh, sessions, mixing sessions, mastering sessions. If you want to get your stuff mixed down, we really built this from the ground up. It's crazy. You know, all, all of this black y'all see in this, yeah, this is a lot of hours of paint brushes. Man. Oh, y'all paint brushes. <laughs> paint brushes and blunts, man. Blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, yeah, yes, blood, sweat, geez. and tears. So, but uh, we also like do you know online radio. I think we was talking about this off camera. Yeah, um, we do online radio where people uh, have podcasts and stuff themselves. So it's also a platform. That's where the media comes from. It's a multimedia company. So this is really like our headquarters, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, you know how the code name kids next door got like a treehouse for real? <laughs> okay, yeah. The whole thing is our treehouse. We got a lounge next door too. This named is, the treehouse. So. Yeah, it's this quiet. definitely when, when I when I was walking across the street onto on closer to the building, it's like I just started feeling this creative energy. It's definitely have mm. a creative energy when I walk in. Thank you. And mm. it's and and it's like it, it doesn't just it doesn't just take a couple styrofoams on the wall to do that. Like it, you have, yeah. it takes hard work and you have to. Yeah. You, yeah. I can smell the hard working. I can smell the hard working yeah, well, here type thing. Maybe the weed. <laughs> 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 it's, maybe, it's, it's a lot, bro. I mean. It, we had to make it something. We put a fucking, we put our rocket on the window. Like when you walk in, you can just feel that it's a different energy. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. Okay. Okay. How long did it, how, so? How long have y'all been building this place? We've been building this this up. We've come up on a two year, three year anniversary. Yeah, three years. Come up on a three oh, year anniversary. Oh hell no. A flute of fly just died in <laughs> committed suicide. Hey yo! I told you. I he hope that ain't my shot. cup. No, this is my cup. <laughs> he wanted well, a shot. At least, well, it, I mean, my cup is empty. So shit. I mean. Oh uh, yeah. Here you go. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't even, I don't even trust. Yeah. My, I don't even trust myself no yeah. more. No, go ahead, man. Yeah, that did. big ass bottle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. Talk the whole thing. <laughs> Hold on. Big ass bottle, man. Yo, like, where is he going today? <laughs> he wanted a shot, my nigga. Nah, that this nigga. Is, this is, this look, is, this. Is, look at this. Look oh, at this. Damn. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Son. He I'm, said the first. You drink all that Jose, you gonna be Mexican. I'm telling you right now. You're gonna start speaking <laughs> Spanish. You know, to speak English. You see them lie right here? Get down. It, it, it died in the shit and then it came back. <laughs> No, nah, I think he just wanted a little sip. He's trying to go I'm down for a little swoop. You know what I'm saying? He wanted a shot. You he know, wanted a little flies, sock. Flies only live for like a month. He trying to get lit and go find a... I ain't mad flyer. at him. He trying to have a good time. I'm here for a fun time, not a long time. He can have it. He can have it. He definitely got it. Yeah, I'm just going to set this to the side. Um, Somewhere. Away yeah. from your laptop. Yes. That would be ideal. That's I'm, I'm sorry. I kind of interrupted. That just, just fucked up his whole train nah, of thought. Nah, Mitaza. Mitaza? Gracias, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah, we, nah. Have a, we have a chases here. Are y'all not going to use chases? Um, no. no. You know, we kind of grown. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm just like, <laughs> y'all lying. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. <laughs> for real, for real. Oh, my God. Sorry, I just sip though, man. Like, then that's tequila as well, bro. Tequila, tequila. does some crazy. Tequila does some crazy stuff. I would have never been drinking tequila. Oh, yeah, here, we pass it over there to him. <laughs> <laughs> I like how quiet he was about it. Yeah. Like, yeah, let me, let me get a cup now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll tell you. Oh, you talk to Jose, too. Hold on. Come on, Ew. Yeah. Everybody going to be speaking Spanish by the end of this. Hasta luego. Chill. Chill. Oh, my God. Oh. 
You got real tears in my eyes. Right. That's that tequila shit. I, I was um I was actually with my girlfriend yesterday and her mother was in Cancun. She came back with some coconut tequila. Ooh. Said, what is that? That sounds amazing. It didn't taste bad at all. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I looked at my grandma and said, we need to take a trip to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go back. We need to go. I need to go home. We need to go back. We need to go to Cancun. I feel that 100%. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah. And, and traveling is really cool, man. Like, yeah. I feel like we never see outside of our bubble for real. Like, this kind of goes hand in hand with what we be talking about. Yeah. Like, because we be talking about the song and shit. Mm-hmm. And, like, there's something that's been coming to us, like, Baltimore's a graveyard for dreamers. It yeah. kind of really does feel like that, bro, because we never get outside of our bubble yeah. and see bigger stuff. Mm-hmm. All we know is what we're exposed to. Like, these, the fact that over west is far from over east is crazy <laughs> to me. <laughs> bro, I went so. to, I, I, it is, that's a crazy thing, it is. It's like two but it's the, it's the yeah. energy of, like, the city, you feel me? Because yeah, it's, it's so condensed, energy. you know what I'm saying? And when you go to other places like Georgia, to get to the, other side of summer, you got to drive a whole 35 minutes. Like, yeah. counties yeah. are 45 minutes, an hour away from each other, and people be taking the drives like it's nothing. It's a mentality, yeah. you know. Um, I don't, I don't know. I think being a realtor is different for me. Like, I drive. Mm. I got to drive. I have no choice. Mm. So, like, I'm talking to people. I'm like, yeah, over west. Over west? I'm like, nigga, yeah. it's like 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, like it's, it's like a crazy. whole different state to go yeah, from east to west. I mean, I'm, it is I'm a different a demographic. I, I, I'm the nigga that you're talking about. <laughs> nah, it's, a di- it, it's a different demographic for sure. Yeah. So I get it. It's like different cultures when you're on you know, different sides. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I do think that it's important that we get outside of our bubble 100%. Because mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know. I don't like being stagnant. And I feel like if you're only ever exposed to what you're used to you never really grow yeah. exactly you don't i mean you could be around the same people your whole life and really you are you know how they say like you're the average of the five people you hang out with mm-hmm. you know if you only stay in baltimore east baltimore city exactly. your whole life is just like you're the average of that you're not really exposed Sh- to anything if you grow up than that. over east you just know strip clubs and chicken boxes <laughs> not like, strip clubs and chicken you, boxes i i guarantee i was just telling somebody uh, over there oh, wow. we'd be knowing a little bit more than that and it'd be too much yeah it's way more it's is DC the thing about the east side of the city? I feel like it's just like it's it's very cruddy, bro. But not cruddy like in how it looks everywhere. It's just the energy. You feel me? It's, sometimes yeah. it be very cutthroat for real. You know what I'm saying? Like the west side of the city is only fucked up because that's just Baltimore. But it's a little more cunning. It's a yeah. little more cunning. It's like I'm yeah. cunningly like yeah. uh, on tip. Over east is is more. It's in your face. Niggas don't care. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah. If we be knowing too much, just how to think about how many times you came across somebody and you just felt like they was trying to finesse you. <laughs> Living in Baltimore, you just felt like they yeah, was trying. You can smell you, it in the air. Yeah, it's like some, it's some gaffling going. Are you trying to gaffle me yeah. right now? Then you get to looking at it like, yeah, I, I really don't trust yeah. niggas. Don't touch with those type of boots. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, now you on some shit. You know what I'm saying? But you go other places. Like again, when I was in Georgia. The southern hospitality was making me skittish. I'm like, yeah. I didn't notice that. I'm like, we kind of got some kind of weird uh, PTSD from like living somewhere where you always gotta have your head on a swivel. You feel me? Especially like? against your own people, and that's always yeah. Shit. It's fucked up, bro, man. I'm thinking is... like, why that nigga just say hi like that? I don't Yo, know, bro. <laughs> you know how real that is though. Yeah. Like, um, I tell people all the time, like, I'm a New Morian. Like, I was born in South Jersey, and then I've been here for half of my life. So like, this is home to me more than Jersey a lot of the time. Yeah. But like, I'll go back home to my peoples and. Like, I grew up in a rural area. Like, I was, like, the only black kid in my second grade class yeah. type. Yeah. So I go home, and I'm, like, the energy out there is, it's not, I don't want to say it's better, because yeah. it's, like, it's more Caucasian, yeah. you know? And it's, like, this is a different type of weird energy, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know? But when I come back home, it's, like, a it's like a dark cloud type of energy. Yeah, and I yeah. could tell the difference just because I've been up here mm-hmm. in a more affluent area mm-hmm. uh, where even black people out here, they live in different. Yeah. Like, to me, I'm like, nigga, I want a Wawa. I don't know damn 7-Eleven. Right. Like, <laughs> I want a damn hoagie. Like, <laughs> yeah. you like pizza and wings or 7-Eleven. Like, the vibe is completely different out mm-hmm. there. And, you know, you like you said, when you're at home, like, when I'm home here, your head is always on a swivel. Yeah. And no matter what part of the city you in, even when you leave the city, yeah. my head is on a swivel. When yeah. I go back to Jersey, my head is on a swivel just because you adapt because to that. Because when you adapt to you moving to around adapt. in this environment. like Yeah, you got to be yeah. mindful yeah. when you in the street. You don't even got to be in the streets mm-hmm. to be in a predicament when you in Baltimore City. Exactly. I've, I've That's why it's that. a graveyard for dreamers, though. Because think about it. You got creatives like all of us. We, we grow up 
Or like, or even like, okay over here, okay that's off screen. DJ, he been DJing yeah. since he was like shout 10. out DJ, okay, I shout yes, out sir. DJ, okay. I see the plats on the wall, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, you feel me? But DJing for that long, like he realized he, he, in, he yeah. liked the DJ at that age. Yeah. And we creators and we growing up. Yeah. And while you growing up, interacting with your craft, you also have to navigate this shit. Yeah. And graveyard really don't mean like you're gonna die doing yeah, it. Graveyard yeah, yeah, mean yeah, it could yeah. kill your dreams if you yeah. let it. Like, yeah. that's why it's a graveyard specifically for dreamers. Because mm. if you can't focus on your craft and you always so skittish, you scared to make connections and shit because of how uncomfortable Baltimore makes you, like, that shit can uh, be detrimental to your path. It could yeah. block some blessings that you have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit real. It's really I real. definitely agree. I definitely agree. I mean, that's just, that's why it's just a lot of people over here that's just that's just going to work and retiring. Like mm-hmm. nobody can't even comprehend starting up their own thing. Like maybe I do like picking, taking pictures. Like mm-hmm. there's a lot. It's a lot of people here that just can't even comprehend being creative. Yeah, no. I mean, that, that's that why I got much respect for OK because like you don't see, especially young black men, you know, doing something like this. Yeah. This is important. The city needs that. Yeah. You know, all of yeah. us uh, as 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 a statistic, all of us niggas supposed to be working at FedEx. <laughs> as a statistic, that's and Amazon. Where you get your that's a warehouse job, yeah. nigga. You... Yeah, like just labor. Or now you know what the new shit is? CDO. Yeah, you know, go, everybody nigga, is... straight oh, yeah. go get a CDO. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, you know yeah. what's fucked up? It's like we, we oh, oh, the shit that they uh put out there to glorify. You feel me? Yeah. It's all a, it's all an attack. So now they want to glorify like uh, all these expensive things. So a nigga with his CDLs now, nigga not going to go get his CDLs to start his own trucking company. Nigga going to go get his CDLs to get the big house, to get a motorcycle, <laughs> to get a big wedding for his wife, to get hella jewelry, nice watches, BMW, Benz. Nigga not going to go his, like, get his CDL. You only making seventy thousand a year. Yeah, you're not making a hundred thousand. You're not six figures yet, bro. Niggas is used to making twenty thousand a year. Yeah, and, and that's why. Well, exactly. I think I've in my financial literacy journey. I've learned that one of the rules is, uh, I don't, I, not to be brash, but a broke mentality is that making more money is going to solve your problems. Right. That's not the solution. Mm. The solution is understanding how to use the money you do have. Mm. So if you think that, oh, I'm going to get 50000 more, now I ain't going to be broke. No, you're just going to spend more money. Right. That's why they still getting these high-paying jobs and they still want to be the consumer. Mm. You got to have a different mentality. Yeah, you you, could, be, you could be making 20000 and and not be broke. The person that got seventy thousand and they spending the yeah. whole like fifty thousand and they expenses is twenty thousand. That's a broke person. That's a yeah, broke mentality. Yeah, it's a broke yeah. mentality. You cannot still be the consumer. You're supposed you can't to be the change. consumer. You're yeah. supposed to change. I, what's the other word? I, I, I'm forgetting uh, 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 American government. What's the other word? You got consumer and you got. It's not a supplier. What is that? I would just say balls. balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you got a consumer, a producer. Producer, yeah. Yeah, you got a consumer yeah. and a producer. You're supposed supplier. to switch supplier. We yeah. call it whatever. You feel me? You look up the goddamn time. I'm not. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. We have an intro. We never. This is oh, Letty Lynch. Me. Yeah. <laughs> and the one only. We don't. We don't have C. 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 C
to like respect where your past yeah. and where you're going. Yeah. But I think like you are still lit as shit as a person. <laughs> no, to be honest, like yeah, yeah. your it's, energy that's, that's is, is infectious. Yeah. Like I think anybody that know you could say that, and I think you channel it different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's still yeah. cool to be lit, but I don't know. I've never been the type of person that's like hype. Like I'm the chill person. Yeah, CJ's chill. Um, this, this motherfucker's so cold. You sit too close. She's free. When I first when I first came in down here, she came down the steps smooth and shit. I'm like, hold up. Uh uh. Stop. Stop. I'm yeah. like, hold up. Who this? Yeah. This dude has been like yin and yang for me because mm-hmm. like my energy, our performance, you know, our stage presence is different. Like yeah. I'm like just like I'm just going to chill. I'm gonna have a conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This dude is like, yo, hands up. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to like, get into. I want you to feel it. I, yeah. I love that because like I don't like to do things that aren't natural or like organic. Mm-hmm. And he 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 makes me feel comfortable being that chill person. Yeah, and that's you know, and that's one thing I really like about the song that you guys just released because it shows like a like it shows like. It shows like a different aspect of more so you really. Yeah. And, and it's like inside of her world. Yeah, exactly. That's and exactly what it is. Yeah. 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 I thought that's why it was gonna work so much because uh when she initially came to me and asked me, like, I got something and I was thinking of who to put the feature on, and she was like, you know, my girlfriend said, Why don't you put looks on it? Yeah. We had just seen each other at a event, yeah. I think, and yeah. she was like, Okay, I'm gonna reach out. So that's she reached how y'all out. Met? No, 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 no. We we we, we went to middle school. Oh yeah. wow. A lot. We we've known each other for yeah. a very long time and been yeah. in the same spaces. You know yeah. what I mean? She's family to me. Yeah. So it was like it was always it was always a no brainer. I'm like, yeah. And then when I heard the song, mm-hmm. the song, she's like, I produced the song. I'm like, hold what? on, wait. <laughs> she's a whole musician though. She plays keys, she you plays play drums, the, the she's a musician. Yeah. She's talented. Totally. She's I was talented. looking at the credits. We need to do something about them credits. You need to put yourself in them credits. Yeah. I was looking at the credits, looking yeah. to see who, who uh, like who uh, produced it, and he, yeah. and, and um, I did. You need to. I didn't. It didn't say that you. It didn't say that you like. It just said it was you performed it and you written it. But you yeah. didn't put in that that you produced it. Yeah, yeah. she she produced that whole right. track, and it's it's so jazz. It's so neo yeah. soul jazzy. The swings, everything was catching me. The hook was so potent. I'm like, this is like what I like. This yeah. is what I like. This is the music that I like. Yeah. And it really struck a chord. She was like, if you do it, I want it to be clean. Because the the it's just the energy. It, we don't want nobody to feel like they can't listen to this. Because it's very important. Yeah. You know? You yeah. can't you, we couldn't come on here and disrespect the music like that. Like it yeah. was so crazy. So I did the verse and it was just something totally new. I just let myself just yeah. flow. I kind of yeah. just just built on the vibe. You so know? Did, did you already have the song prepared before you, when you came to him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. When when did you make the song? Bro, could the, you pass me my water? So, um, see, that's a, it's a funny question. The To summarize it, the, the chord progression I have been playing for a couple of years is working on it. Um, and I teach music production through an organization. So I started, I showed them how to produce music. So I'm like, all right, let me just whip this up right quick. Start playing the keys. I'm like, hmm, try this bass. I'm like, hmm, it's kind of nice. You fell into it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I had lost, I don't want to say I lost my love, but once I got into real estate, I was studying. I was trying to focus more on getting myself in a stable financial position. And I mm-hmm. feel like people will look at you like you're crazy because you decide to take a little hiatus from your artist career. But the way I feel about it is like I'm, I'm gifted. Like God gave me a gift, and not in no airheaded way, but like, we're not airheaded, but just like a big headed way. But it's like when you have a gift, you can tap into that gift. Whenever you want. Whenever you it's want. It's always going to be there. You it's not on somebody else's timeline to tell you and rush you to make an album or mm-hmm. rush you to make an EP or whatever. Um, so I decided, like, you know, I'm going to take a break because I just didn't feel well mentally mm-hmm. because I'm, I felt broken. I feel like this lifestyle is not going to get me in a position that mm-hmm. I see myself And that's in. where it starts from. And that's where it starts. environment for the creativity. Yeah, because I'm just not that type of person that could flow in my artistic realm when my finances ain't in a good position or I'm just not spiritually well. So I got to that place and then it was like, it came naturally. I produced a track during one of my classes and then I'm just, I got a voice memo. I actually had the voice memo when I started mm. writing to it. I was waiting for my class to come in. I'm like, damn, what, how could you write to this? And it just, it was, it was God because it's not like, oh, I just came over with it. Like, nah. Yeah, yeah. It was, that's you who know, else is it? Who else yeah. Is it? yeah, it was just God that just put, me put it everything in my head and then, I was like, all right, bet. I kind of wanted to have like a hip hop flow, so then I wrote, I wrote one verse at first, and then to be complete, and he don't even know this. I want, I wrote eight bars. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna get licks. He gonna do sixteen, so I send with the track. I'm like, 
Yeah, nah, nigga, I'm doing 16. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing 16. Oh, no, you didn't tell me that. Yeah, you didn't yeah, tell no, me that. Yeah. I felt like, there some bars I, on there. Yeah, I, I, I felt I, like, yeah. whoa, I can't. I, I didn't get every single point out of my head that needs to be made. Mm-hmm. Do you usually, you know? rap, do you yeah. usually rap in your songs? Mm, I usually do like a, you would say more like a Drake type of thing. Like my previous two songs are not polar opposites, but nothing like this track. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I grew up, my step-pop is a hip-hop head. <laughs> Always love hip-hop. Till the day, I, like right now, I don't listen to hip-hop like that. That's the craziest what? thing. I get in my car. No Gucci, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, no, no, no disrespect, but like yeah, when I'm no, listening to it, music. It, it, I'm listening to like good music. I'm not listening to mainstream yeah. type shit. I understand. You know, like I want to hear something that's really from your soul. I don't want to hear some shit that I could. Anybody could rap about selling drugs. Mm. Now you, you don't have to sell drugs to rap about selling drugs. You yeah. don't. You don't. You, you anybody can make popular music. Mm-hmm. You know, but it takes a different type of artist to make something that's from your heart. Mm-hmm. Um, and talk about something real without mm-hmm. being scared about how people are going to perceive what you're saying. Yeah, the creative vibe. It's, the that's creative a, that's vibe. That's a different type of making a song. Yeah, it's, it's a, a different. And so that's really what I want to make. I want to make genuine music that's really about my experience, not like, you know, popular music. Mm-hmm. I know me personally, my first time hearing music was with the song that you guys released. Yeah. And I had to do a, I had to do a, I had to listen to some more on the way here. And it's just like, I just never even like, honestly, I've never even, I'm such a nigga. I do never even listen to music like that. Yeah. I, I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You giving us it from your perspective. I would love to hear it. Please tell us, like, how, yeah, how you. I mean, about it. it's just more so like I never. I mean, usually, usually, like I could just usually like the vibe is like if I could explain it, like my it's like something that my girl listen to. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. And it's like. I usually niggas as niggas like when you listening to music with your girl, it's like you put up a wall, be like, man, that's some girl shit, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But like, but like, it's just it just hit different. Honestly, I don't yeah. I don't really know how to explain it. It's just no. Nah, I think I think I think I know what you're saying. So it's like, um, you know, niggas, because I I'm I'm a nigga. I'll just say, like, I <laughs> we can we can validate as niggas. I know niggas. So we niggas, can validate niggas. Niggas, <laughs> when you with your girl and you hear it and it's like the music that she listens to, because. Um, I, w- I would argue females have a way wider palette than males when it comes to music. It's, that, that, it's mo- cra- that music crazy. is more right? complex, so, so not you'll just he- the bass. Right, thing. exactly. So when you hear it, you like, this is some girl shit. All right, like, this not... <laughs> flag. Yeah. flag on the flag. This don't got the hi-hats or the 808 or the bone. <laughs> so uh, this is some girl shit. I know how to rip. So you might not like listen to it for real. You feel me? But when you listen to the song, it's like it hits you so different. It's kind of like that wall kind of gets... At least lowered a little bit. You're like, wow, what is this? What this this sounds crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely think, black excellence. Like you never. It's hard to listen to music and and be like, oh, this is a this is black excellence. Like, yeah, niggas don't be making black excellence. Or yeah. without explicitly stating that. Yeah, like you know, my biggest not even a fear because. I've grown to that point where it's just like, all right, bet I rock with my music. That's all that matters. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's all that matters. I don't. Mm-hmm. I, I was like, it's not a corny song by any means. Yeah. Like, it's talking about being black, but in the most raw way, yeah. you know, and not being like, more, you know, black power. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I, I think that's dangerous because, what, see, what people don't really understand is when you uh, trend black power or black excellence, mm-hmm. it's losing all the power from saying it. Mm-hmm. You're not, it's not really coming from your heart. It's not trendy. Even with yeah. some of the things that's like, and it's probably, this. a lot of people would look at me weird, but... Yeah. The with Black Lives Matter and stuff, yeah. it's like it, it's weaponizing against the community. Now you yeah. got people who feel like, "Yo, I really hate white people." Mm. Like, it's militant. Here. It's and a difference between being a militant. Yeah, it's, it's a and difference. Being aware. It's, yeah, and it's yeah. difference between like being like this is uh, for the cause out of a like Black Lives Matter and is not being an anti-white thing. You right. feel me? Right. Just because Black Lives Matter, that don't mean I hate white people. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? Because Absolutely. That's 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 like the the hate that that they give at us like you yeah. feel me so it's like you reciprocate in that yeah and like i could definitely speak to that yeah i grew up in a household where my mother was like a flower child right mm-hmm. and then my step pop he's like yo f them right. <laughs> my grandfather right. yeah he yeah, calling I them be- you know every name in the book yeah and i can understand why because of the history of shit but it's like like that shouldn't mean that you know what i'm saying so when we speak about being young black Cole, Cole, and gifted co-red Code red, code red. Oh, code oh red. laptop nine, laptop nine. He's not moving fast. No, this is a cold red. He moving like it's a cold yellow. <laughs> right here. I got this thing. Put this up right there. And go, go, go. Here. Go, move. Oh, he had to bust a move like NASCAR. I nigga. forgot to set up. <laughs> yeah. I like he had Cold a NASCAR red. pick Cold crew red. just now in the whole Code Red, baby, baby. 
I'm like, what the hell does that even mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. He do that so fast. I ain't never seen a nigga get on supplies that quick. Thank Look, you, boom. Because I forgot to go, plug it up. Thank go. you, Reno. Thank you. Woo. Thank you, Reno. Thank Reno you. Okay. Oh, just save the stream. Oh, my gosh. Stream savers, nigga. <laughs> I'm mad. How One 800 stream savers, nigga. Yes. Hit me up. We got. <laughs> 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 Like, nigga, I heard not that. From, hey, yo, that's a real Baltimore shit. If you from Baltimore, you know what that mean. Hey, yo, see me over, yo. <laughs> right here. <I> <laughs> he earned it, bro. Let's let's get let's get back to the. Miss me, lad. My fault. It's that was okay. Whole... It's... Oh. Damn, he had me gigging. I don't know if I dropped that or you dropped that, but somebody need to put that. a phone out. <laughs> Y'all dropped it. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's not good luck, Bro, brother. I think that shit is so yeah. funny. That's not it. <laughs> that's not it. That's not Yo, it. I think that shit is so funny. Be like, Hello, babe. Yo, Who niggas is superstitious. We is superstitious creatures. Call it like. Um, Bro, an event that's totally why, why so quiet? Unco- why you moaning so much? <laughs> an t- event that's totally unconnected to anything else. We Look, straight jumped to that. That's your, that was my immediate thought. Like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about my girl. I was like, I'm you know, I'm I'm like, like, like shit. Nobody, <laughs> nobody <laughs> said it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I ain't gonna say it, but you know what that means, though. <laughs> I'm gonna play it back to my face. My face is like. <laughs> Y'all you know I mean? so bad. I tried to pull a move. Like, I don't know if I dropped that. Or you dropped that. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, funny. But yeah, like, um, just uh, back to what I was saying, like, about speaking about being black for, like, natural. Shit like that. Shit, that's natural. Like, yeah. it's not white. Like, we preaching to anyone. This is just how we feel. And yeah. when you listen to it, you can feel that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think that I love the fact that he pointed out, like, certain types of music are considered. So, like more of a woman's type of music mm-hmm. like even for me having a woman as my partner mm-hmm. she put on songs and i'm like yo like yeah. I, I i can't <laughs> turn the yeah. sappiness off Damn, bro like hello reverb i don't this song. <laughs> <laughs> every track is 100 percent wet in this song wet, no dry like i i completely get it i think that was kind of like my uh, well, really, what I wanted for the track was to have a black man's perspective. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because, like, I'm a black woman in America. I mm-hmm. got a perspective. He yeah. got a completely different perspective yeah. than me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're both valid. So I wanted to have somebody that I know that, you know, probably had a different past and experience mm-hmm. than myself mm-hmm. give their perspective. And it kind of be a little bit more on the, the mainstream side because I know, like you said, a part of your character is Liddy Lex. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's a part of me. And so it, it's it'll like, never go away. You feel me? It's always in in there. You feel me? Like, especially with how I, uh, I think just my personality. Your personality, so yeah. 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 We we I don't know if y'all saw it at the beginning of the clip, but we had to turn his game down. <laughs> so <laughs> we had to turn his game down because, you hey. know, he's live. He's yeah. live. And it's nothing. It's not like, you yeah. know, I've met some people that's just like over the top and it's aggravating. You're like, yeah. just like, you just expressive. Yeah. You're yeah. expressive I, and I, it's yeah. genuine. It's not I like, think. yo, it's not like a look at me. Because you know how you yeah. meet that one person that's, that's like, ah, they lie all the time because they want why, attention, you know? When I first met him, that's what made, that's what made him me and him get so close because I saw him like I'm literally the same way. <laughs> yes. like, honestly, same exact way. Yeah. Literally the same way. So yeah. it's, up. it's, it's just, a big person. I understand it. It's just, yeah. yeah. And it's not being afraid to like really, you know, like uh feel like, yeah, like I have a big personality. Cause I I'm still just very humble. Like I, I don't like to talk too much. You feel me? Like I don't like to talk too much because I like to understand people. Like yeah. I like to know them. You feel yeah. me? It's it's not all about you. I think that big headed like um mentality is real like it's fucked up it's gonna fuck you up in the long run yeah mm-hmm. it's not a good yeah. look i mean it, even if you i mean i guess you could take that in different routes like people might think they have arrived in a sense mm-hmm. um who have you arrived with though mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. yeah. i think that's the biggest thing for me mm-hmm. i think it's just i think it's just different types of people like some people some people can't some people can't decide can't can't um decipher whether or not what that level they at? They just see a difference, mm-hmm. and they just react off to that. You know what I mean? Like, like some people, it's just take it's just, just different type of people. Like just like how it says different type of music. Like you can just make nigga music, or you can make a vibe. You know yeah. what I mean? It's different mm-hmm. people that can like if you. It's different people that can tell what that mean. It's people that can't tell what that mean. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So I mean, oh, yeah. It ain't for everybody. I say that. Um, the track. Uh, I think it's for anyone who understands what evolution looks like. Pers- yeah. like your own personal evolution. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I think that's what it's for, and it's about just optimizing your potential as a human being and respecting everybody else's paths at the same time, understanding, like, you might have been in, in that position at a point in time and understand that you have so much more potential than you believe that mm-hmm. you do mm-hmm. um, at times. So, yeah. But, but well, let's talk about let's talk about what we need to talk about. We need to be talking about paradigm shift. What the paradigm, hell? paradigm. And it's a it's hard, it's a hard word for niggas to pronounce. Like it's hella, it's a D. No, I think it's G. harder to spell than to pronounce. Yeah, because so sometimes I like, spell it. How the hell do I spell paradigm? <laughs> How do you say that again? Paradigm. Paradigm. Par- paradigm. What the shift. fuck does that mean? Do you know what that means? CJ knows it word for word. I can guarantee. CJ can CJ can say the meaning word for word right now. I can guarantee. Can All you right. tell us what paradigm shift means? Renault.com. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke. That's an inside joke. Oh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, so paradigm shift is a fundamental change in your approach. Mm. So mm-hmm. when you want, it's like, you know, the, the definition in it, of insanity is doing the same exact thing and expecting a different result. Mm-hmm. So a, that would be like the opposite of a paradigm shift. Mm-hmm. Like you want to change your approach mm-hmm. so that you can get a different result. Right. Like, oh, I want to, I want to, um, like for me, I want it to be more financially stable. And a lot of people d- don't know because I don't talk about it because it's not necessary. But that's what got me to stop smoking mm-hmm. was because I saw myself financially more stable. And I realized yeah. like, yo, I'm smoking all of my money away. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I'm like. That's literally what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, it. but it's like, you can, you can understand that. You can acknowledge it, but what's going to get you to change? Mm-hmm. Like, what is going? What do you need to do in order to get yourself in that position where you are achieving these things, like buying a building like this mm-hmm. and being able to come in here whenever you want and record people? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to be able to have a different mentality. That's a fundamental change that takes place when you achieve things like this. Yeah. Everybody's not doing things like this. That's a, an extraordinary person. Mm-hmm. So that's what paradigm shift is, really means. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, cause I, I'm gonna be honest. I I saw it. I saw the definition. I read it and all, and I still was like, I I could not use this in a sentence. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cause that shit, that shit. Deep. It's a whole deep like kind of uh thing. It's really taking your energy and flipping it to do the polar opposite of what you're used to doing yeah. or something that's different. You feel yeah. me? It's on the other side of the grass, but it's yeah. really greener over there. Yeah. Like Absolutely. it's really greener over there. Yeah. So. It's a journey. I think. And that's what we both talk about is like your journey. Mm-hmm. Cause it's not like you just flip a switch. Nope. It ain't like, I was like, I'm going to stop smoking and put this right. thing down. I never smoked right. again. It was like, it took some time to get to that point. Um, but you, you really think about the outcome and who you see yourself as. Mm-hmm. I think that's number. That's really what keeps surfacing in my mind. It's like it's not about what people think about you. Like, yeah. you like he might be Liddy Licks, but he sees himself as a Lixer right now. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying? I need to get a custom Lixer. <laughs> 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 you know, so it's like who do you see yourself as? And it's uh, there's there's two books. One is Atomic Habits by James Clear, and he talks about like cues and how we why we do certain behaviors just out of habit and how mm-hmm. we can change those behaviors and there's another book called big money energy by ryan serhan he's like a top producing agent in new york <clears throat> and he just talks about you know projecting who you see yourself as five years from now but doing those things today like if you were trying to lose weight the first thing you would do is think about like what was somebody that has abs in? <laughs> and then you just start doing that. Right. Yeah, like, if you see yourself being a successful, you know, well off podcast interviewer in the future, you got to start doing those behaviors mm-hmm. today. You can't Real wait, shit. or that person's never going to get here. Yeah, facts. And you got to understand, like, you are still that person. Mm-hmm. You're just mm-hmm. here right you're now. You're just here right now. But you're still that person. Holy if you thinking about man, time, because Tom, you got to think about it, bro. Time is not linear. You feel me? We think you still the baby that you were. You just at a different point. Yeah, you at a different point. So you didn't know you was this when you was that. That's why people be yeah. like, I know I'm really uh making my inner child happy right yes. now. Yes. Yes. So make man. your inner no, child happy right now. Right. Yeah, make your yes. older self no, happy, happy right, right, right now, now, nigga. Go Damn. to the gym, nigga. <laughs> I need to go and leave right now. Go, <laughs> <laughs> go to the gym. Like, push-ups with Reno over so, here. Yeah, me and Reno was doing push-ups downstairs earlier. Like, yeah, so, what would we be doing right now? Yeah, that's yeah. The, that's what the paradigm shift is. You change it what you're doing so that you can really be that person, achieve those things. You okay. Know? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. Holy it's, it's, fuck. It's, it's, it's a very deep thing. Even like that part that we say together, that's my mm-hmm. favorite part of the song. 
and you can find that boy where hellfire couldn't fry that, that boy. boy. Uh-huh. The sunshine couldn't blind that boy, but still at times I feel like a refugee. I'm praying, Lauren Hill, come to rescue me. Nigga, I'm not pl- oh. Like, that's some, that's like, <laughs> for real. Like, if you if you a black man, you feel that, bro, because shit is so gritty out here, but... When you in a space where you walking with Allah and you protected by God, it's yeah. like it's hellfire. Hellfire couldn't fry you. Like Mm-mm. nothing could touch you. You're protected. You're anointed. Yeah. Like yeah, you feel me. And at, even though you feel me, you're gonna know that on your journey to the paradigm shift. Yeah, it's still gonna feel like you're lost. You yeah. still gonna feel lost like a refugee. Yeah. Yeah, especially being a black man. And yeah, that's like really you how I internalize so, yeah, that. Yeah, bro, because we got a lot on our shoulders, and sometimes yeah. it be feeling like, bro, that. I just want, like, it be feeling like, damn, yeah. is there a savior to come and see? Like, what yeah. is going on? Yeah, it's just so gritty, bro. Mass incarceration it took the fathers away. Yeah, now all the black mothers are stressed. Is is breeding mental illness because they're yeah. having to run homes themselves. You feel me? Like, yeah. then that's. Um, niggas uh, still on crack. Niggas still on crack. Yeah. It, it, the eighties came and went, and niggas still on crack. It came and went. <laughs> niggas is still on crack. That shit is crazy, yeah. bro. Like, it's, but shit like that, and it, man, that shit, that shit gets hard. No, yeah, I could definitely speak to that. I was talking to my mom about the track, cause um, my I've been telling Lex this, like my mom called me, like, who's that young man on the end of the track? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Elixir, who's that? I'm like, uh, Lex, she like, that brother is smooth. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it's she said, you tell Elixir. <laughs> he came up on that track too smooth. Hey, man. I had to call this man. Yeah, he he had to call him. He like, bro, I got allergies right now, yo. <laughs> my eyes ain't sweating, bro. Um, yeah, like I, yeah. I was talking to my mom because there's a, there's a part of my verse where I'm like, I'm living my life like it's gold. I'm paying homage to Jill Scott. Uh-huh. And then I said, I'm living my life like I, I'm living my life. I'm a golden, bolden. Bolden is my grandmother's maiden name. Okay. Well, my great grandmother. Okay. And um, I was talking to my mom like, yo, you know, I never realized as black people, we identify so much with the women in our family. Yeah. It's a it's a known saying in my family. Like when we get around our, each other, mm. we call ourselves golden boldens. Mm. So only my family understands. Oh, that makes sense. Track. That yeah. line makes sense. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it's, beautiful. it's my great grandmother. So it's like, we are, like you said, black women really take care yeah. of the family that yes. much that we call ourselves the golden bowling. We don't call ourselves by my grandfather. I don't even know his last name. Right. Like that, and not like to be like that, but yeah, the yeah, reality yeah. of my situation is like black I, women run the world. Yes. That's I, yes. Run the world. Yes. The, the different. whole culture, everything, the whole culture. But yeah. it's like that because that is divine energy, bro. Yeah. It's nothing that a black woman can't shoulder. Yeah. And, it's like it's so crazy. I just learned um, how how uh, recent women's rights is. Yeah, women's rights alone. Yeah, is so recent. Like until 1960, there wasn't anything for women to get like solace from their abusers. Yeah, like oh, you shit. could abuse a woman and then nothing would happen. Nothing no, would no place. investigation. And they would be ashamed of, of you if you got a divorce. Yeah, on top of that. On like, top of that. Oh, he divorced you, Dan. What you doing? Exactly. <laughs> like, girl, exactly. You definitely right. You definitely <laughs> like, right. Then, 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 then add that with the marginalization of of black people. Yeah, that's like it's so hard yeah. for a black woman to do anything, and black women literally do everything, bro. That it, it's so crazy. Like, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, it's I feel love. so. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's just, just love. A like, certain level of love and respect. Think, 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 I, ain't, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I don't know too many niggas with a daddy. Yeah.